pickup trucks. These things sell like crazy in the United States. We Americans just can't get enough of them. The Ford F-150, the Chevy Silverado, and the Ram 1500 reign supreme, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that contractors, farmers, and other businesses need the capability that pickups offer. But in recent years, pickups have become even more practical, more comfortable, and not to mention, they have become really luxurious. Which is why I always wonder why anyone would buy an SUV over a pickup. I mean, I totally understand why, but come on, pickups are just cooler. And the pickup that I'm driving here today may not be as popular as the big three, but in some cases, it's definitely cooler. My name is Omar, and this is the 2022 GMC Sierra Denali. But not just any Denali. This is the Denali Ultimate. I feel like you have to have a voice like that when you do a pickup review. It's only right. So yeah, don't get me wrong, I totally understand why people that don't need everything a pickup truck has to offer wouldn't buy one. I'm not totally crazy. Especially if you need a large SUV with three rows because your family is really big. I get why you'd pick an SUV. But if your family is no more than four to five individuals, wouldn't you want to buy something that is more capable on and off-road, something you can tow a trailer in, and something you can haul a lot of cargo in? And in some cases, something that is more luxurious and more comfortable. You see, my infatuation with pickup trucks has never been about the capability and how much you can tow and haul. For me, they're just really badass vehicles that drive down the road and look really cool. And that's why I've always wanted a pickup. So yeah, the GMC Sierra Denali isn't as popular as the F-150, the Ram 1500, or its Silverado sibling. However, the Sierra is now in its fifth generation, and for 2022, you have an updated exterior design. You also have a fully refreshed interior with some really cool tech, and the Denali Ultimate trim gives you some insane luxury. So, is the GMC Sierra something that you should now consider getting over the big three, and even getting over an SUV? Let's find out. But first, let me give you a tour of this really luxurious house. We'll check out the really cool multi-pro tailgate. We'll check out the updated interior and we'll go for a quick super cruise. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. All right, let's do this. All right, so there is a lot going on in this truck, but since this is a pickup, let's start with the bed because it does have some pretty interesting things going on there. So GMC calls this the multi-pro tailgate, and you can also get this on the Chevy Silverado. There it's called the multi-flex, but it's pretty cool the way this functions. First, you can pop it open the traditional way by hitting this button, and then you have a little bed extender over here in case you want to throw in longer items that need more support. The second way you can open it is by hitting the top button, and that will open up half the tailgate, so you can use this area right here as a workspace, and then you can flip up this area once again. The coolest thing though is if you push both buttons, the tailgate will drop down and then you can fold this part down and check this out. You have a whole Bluetooth speaker set up so you can use this as a sound system for your next tailgate party. That is really, really cool. You can also pull this handle here and use this area as a step to hop into the tailgate. Now keep in mind, if you want the Denali or the Denali Ultimate, you will have to get it in this configuration with four doors and a five and a half foot bed. If you want a longer bed, you will have to step down to the lower trims of the Sierra. And hey, if you're going to use this for real truck things, you'll have a max payload capacity of over 2,200 pounds. Oh, and the Sierra also gets this 120 volt bed mounted power outlet, but of course, this isn't anything comparable to what Ford offers you in the F-150 with the whole power on board pro setup thing. Now, before we check out the rest of the updated interior, let's talk about Super Cruise. The Sierra Denali Ultimate is the only trim level that gets Super Cruise as standard, so you can't get it on any other Sierra trim. So Super Cruise offers you a true hands-free driving experience. It will basically take over full control of the accelerator, the brakes, and the steering. Now, the cool thing is that if you have your cruise control speed set to 75 and someone pops in front of you going 65, Super Cruise will, when it's safe, automatically switch lanes and get back up to your speed. That is really cool. Keep in mind though, even though Super Cruise uses high definition maps and a bunch of sensors to do its thing, this is still a level two autonomous driving tech, meaning it can't make full decisions on its own or follow navigation guidance. All right, let's talk about the updated tech in here. For 2022, the GMC Sierra gets this giant 13.4 inch touchscreen display in the middle. It's standard on every trim except the base pro. 
It houses the new Android-based infotainment system, so you get Google Maps as your navigation system. You have access to the Google Play Store, so you can download other apps like Spotify. And then you also have Google Assistant, so you can ask her to change the climate control, do some other things. However, she won't turn your heated seats on or off. But yeah, overall, the system is very smooth and very easy to use. During my week with it, it's been a solid experience. There have been no glitches, and overall performance has been pretty smooth. Also new for 2022 is a 12.3-inch digital instrument display. Again, it's standard on every trim of the Sierra except the Base Pro trim. You have a ton of information in here, but you don't have a full-screen map view or anything like that. You have a few different themes that you can circle through. My favorite theme happens to be progressive. I like the way this is laid out. It looks really nice. And check this out. If you go for the Sierra Denali, the gauge cluster will play a pretty cool animation of the Denali Mountain, just in case you forgot you're driving something special. You also have a Denali Mountain animation that plays in the infotainment screen. I really like little touches like that. It makes owning a vehicle a little bit more of a special experience. That said, this interior is a really, really nice place to be. Pickup trucks are getting more and more luxurious and the Sierra Denali and the Denali Ultimate are really the pinnacle of luxury in this segment. The Denali Ultimate takes it a little further with features like Super Cruise and some special materials. Basically, if Cadillac made a pickup truck, it would be the Sierra Denali Ultimate. Unlike all other trims, the Denali Ultimate gets its Alpine umber color interior with full grain leather seating. You also have full grain leather wrapped on the door panels with etched stainless steel speaker grills. Those look really, really cool. And if that wasn't enough, it gets even better. The Denali Ultimate also gets its real open pour wood trim and it looks really, really upscale. Also, if you look closely, you have topographical map patterns and the GPS coordinates of Mount Denali throughout this interior. You have it here in the seats with the Denali badge pointing to the longitude and latitude location of Mount Denali. If you look closely right here on the wood trim on the dash, you'll see a map of Mount Denali along with the same coordinates. That is really, really cool. Now, of course, all this costs quite a bit of money. While the base GMC Sierra Pro starts at $35,000, the Sierra Denali starts at $62,800. The Sierra Denali Ultimate, well, that starts at just under $82,000, but at that price tag, everything is standard as it should be. Besides all the unique model-specific materials and things that I just showed you, like the real wood trim and the special full-grain leather, you get 16-way power-adjustable front seats that are really, really comfortable. I mean, these are, like, really plush. And not only are they heated and cooled as standard, of course, you also get a heated steering wheel, but they also have a massage function as standard. Yeah, so you can get a massage after a long, hard day of physical labor. And it doesn't stop there. You also have heated rear seats. All the tech that I just showed you is standard, including the infotainment and the digital instrument display. You also have a really solid sounding 12 speaker Bose sound system, a wireless charger, which is located right here next to the center armrest. You also get dual zone climate control, a trailering package that will actually let you set up cameras so you can look inside your trailer. That's dope. Safety-wise, you get everything and anything you can imagine, including adaptive cruise control with Super Cruise, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, you get forward collision warning, front and rear parking assist, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic braking, and much, much more. Camera game-wise, you're working with a rear view camera as standard. You obviously have a 360 surround view camera, but you also have a bunch of other camera views, including a bed camera, a trailer camera, and you also get this HD rear camera in the rear view mirror. The Denali Ultimate also comes standard with a giant 15 inch heads up display, which has a bunch of useful info on it, and it looks really nice. Really, the list goes on and on. Basically, everything you can get on any other Sierra trim is standard here on the Denali Ultimate and it absolutely should be for around $82,000. Now, most likely you'll be carrying any large items in the bed of the Sierra, but what if you want to keep something inside? Well, you have some really interesting storage options here. You obviously have a glove box, but right above it, you have another area where you can store smaller items. You have some storage right here under the rear seats, which isn't anything too special since most pickups will give you that. But the Sierra also gets some hidden storage right here in the seat backs of the rear seats, which, sorry, really isn't hidden anymore, so don't try to hide stuff back there. Now, when it comes to legroom in the second row, you're working with 43.4 inches of legroom back here. I'm about six foot tall. That's my seating position. As you can see, I have legroom for days and days. You can literally live back here. All right, let's quickly talk about the exterior design of the GMC Sierra. Honestly, in my opinion, this Sierra is definitely the best looking pickup out right now. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of the way the new F-150 looks. I'm not too crazy about the new Silverado really liking the way the new Tundra looks, but Ram could definitely use an update. That said, I think the GMC Sierra is the most handsome and bold looking pickup out right now. 
I really like the front end design. It's got a really aggressive and tough look to it. A little boxy, but I really dig that. The Sierra Denali Ultimate gets some exclusive touches like a unique grille in exclusive dark Vader chrome. So if you hate shiny chrome, you're gonna have to drop that ultimate money to get dark chrome. It also gets these exclusive and awesome 22 inch black aluminum wheels with machine accents. And then the bed of the Denali Ultimate is a Carbon Pro carbon fiber composite bed so you don't need a spray liner and it's much stronger. But yeah, this is definitely a sharp looking pickup truck overall. Now, before I give you my opinion on whether or not if you should buy the GMC Sierra over the competition, let me point out a few daily ownership details that I'll have to show all of you. You have four cup holders, two in the front right there, actually six cup holders, two in the front right there, and then you have two in the back of the center armrest, and then you also have two right there. Here are what the keys look like to the GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate. No Denali logo, just a GMC logo and that's about it. Charging game-wise, you have a lot. You have a USB-A and a USB-C port right there. Here is your wireless charger, and then you also have a USB-A port and a USB-C port right there in the center armrest. Those hanging out in the second row get a USB-A port and a USB-C port. Door open and close down from the outside, and from the inside, solid. All right, let's do an indicator and horn sound test. Indicator first. These indicators always sound like they're skipping a beat. All right, now for the horn sound. Oh, that's solid. All right, so let's take this thing for a drive. Of course, you can get the GMC Yukon instead of this, which is also now available in this Denali Ultimate trim, but why? This is just so much cooler. The one that I'm driving here is powered by a 6.2 liter V8, pumping out 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. Acceleration-wise, it's great, really, really nice. It's made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission, and honestly, this thing is just so, so comfortable. Now, I know a lot of pickup enthusiasts watching this video, hearing me go on and on about how this is a great family vehicle might be getting upset, but hey, we know this is capable, and we already know what this can do. I'm just trying to convince the rest of the world why this is cooler. I promise you, you and your family will just feel much more awesome pulling up in a Sierra Denali Ultimate rather than an SUV. Now, performance-wise, this will do zero to 60 in the mid five seconds, and handling-wise, it's what you would expect from a pickup truck. You're not gonna be really taking sharp turns or bends on the highway at high speeds, but this one here is fairly well composed. Yeah, it may not be as composed as a regular SUV, and performance is something that you don't really worry about when buying something like this, but it's more about the smooth and comfortable ride quality. The Sierra Denali and the Denali Ultimate are meant to be more street-friendly pickup trucks. Even though they are very capable, it's very rare that you'll see one of these doing some really hard labor or doing some real off-roading. Buying one of these is like buying a really expensive pair of shoes. You won't wear them everywhere because you don't want to get them dirty, but you will wear them when you want to show off. So for 2022, the Sierra drops the 4.3 liter V6, so now you have a 2.7 liter four-cylinder turbo, you have a 5.3 liter V8, a 3 liter turbo diesel, or you have this 6.2 liter V8 that I'm driving here. The Denali Ultimate is only available as a turbo diesel or the V8. And depending on the one you get, you'll have a max towing capacity of over 13,000 pounds and a max payload of 2,200 pounds. Figures which I probably will never really care about or ever really use. To me, this is just a really, really smooth daily driver. I can honestly live in this thing. So to answer my question in the beginning, is the Sierra a pickup that you should now take more seriously over the competition? The F-150 and the Silverado will always be kings of the segment, but I will have to say, I like the looks and the feeling of the Sierra a lot more for 2022. Now the Ram 1500 is one of my personal favorite trucks, but again, I have to say the GMC Sierra Denali Ultimate has really caught my attention by being super luxurious and really good looking. So if you're in the market for a pickup, especially a luxurious one, because this thing can get really expensive at around $82,000. And if you're in the market for a luxury family vehicle, definitely consider test driving the GMC Sierra Denali or the Denali Ultimate. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace. I'm just gonna turn on Super Cruise and get a massage while driving this thing. This is really like the Cadillac of pickup trucks. That's the best way to put it. Hands-free driving.
courtesy of Super Cruise. Super cruising along.